Hey guys, what's up? So, as I said in my last video, I was going to be doing a monthly pickups video for everything I picked up in the month of November in terms of physical media. And this is that video. Guys, this is going to be a very large, very long monthly pickups video for everything I've picked up throughout the month of November. A major part of the reason why I picked up so much stuff this month is because uh, November is actually my birth month, so... Yeah, my birthday was this month. Uh, I didn't say anything about it on Twitter or anything like that because, honestly, I'm just not the type of person to give a big deal about my birthday. Um, but this birthday was kind of significant for me, mainly because uh, I actually turned 20 years old this month. Well, technically last month, but still. And it's really weird to think that I am now in my 20s. Like, Jesus. I still remember turning 10 years old, like, exactly, like, 10 years ago, and I cannot believe I'm already 20. It's crazy how fast time flies. And speaking of my birthday, uh, you guys are probably wondering at this point, um, why aren't you holding your phone like you usually do in your videos? Well, I'm actually, for the first time ever in these YouTube videos, using a tripod, which was actually one of my birthday gifts. Uh, it was a gift from my sister. Big shout out to her, uh, she subscribed to the channel, she actually watches these videos, and yeah, special thanks to her for giving me this tripod, because, like, now my, this will make my videos a lot more professional. But yeah, anyways, let's get to what you guys really clicked on this video for, which is to show you guys the Blu-rays. So, throughout this pickup video, I'm not gonna be showing, like, where or when I got stuff in, like, any sort of order, I'm basically gonna be sh dividing everything I got into, like, Black Friday stuff, stuff I got on Amazon, uh, stuff I got on eBay, stuff I got at a, a bookstore, like, not really a bookstore, but a video game store, uh, in a city near my house. And the last bit of stuff I will show you is probably the part of the video most of you will be very excited for, which will be my... Criterion haul from the 50% off Barnes & Noble sale that went on all throughout November. So, as I said before, the first things I'm going to be showing you guys are my Black Friday pickups. Now, I didn't pick up a whole lot of things on Black Friday. I didn't even go out shopping. I basically just did everything online because, because in these times we're living in, I don't think it's the safest thing to be going out Black Friday shopping. Especially since there's like a big spike occurring in this country right now, so... um yeah, but I ordered four things off of uh, BestBuy.com. Uh, I ordered the first two things in the first half of the month, and I ordered the uh, last two things during the second half of the month, and they actually just came uh, a couple days ago. So I'm actually going to be first showing you uh, the stuff I got during the second half of November, because the stuff I got in the first half of November, I feel like I want to save that for last, because they're really cool deals that I got with these last two things. Um, but anyways, the first two things I picked up for the Black Friday sale were $5.99 each. Uh, I felt like these were a good deal, especially for one, especially since one of them was for a movie that came out just last year. Um, so the first two tiles I picked up are Judy and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. So, first off with Judy, I've been wanting to pick this up for the longest time, ever since even before it was released to Blu-ray, because I actually saw this movie in theaters, and while it wasn't the most critically acclaimed film of last year, it was actually one of my favorite films of 2019. Uh, Renee Zellweger definitely gives, definitely gives an amazing performance playing the great Judy Garland, uh, and I'm happy she won the Oscar for Best Actress for her role. I definitely felt like she deserved it. Um, but, um, yeah, this is a very good film that basically focuses on the last months of Judy Garland as she's touring London, I think, and it just shows basically how far she's fallen from grace. Um, I think, as some of you know, Judy Garland had quite a bit of struggles throughout her life, especially since you probably heard stories about how terribly she was treated during, on the set of The Wizard of Oz, which probably had a huge negative impact on her later life, uh, as can be seen in this film. But, um, yeah, this is still a really good film that I highly recommend you all watch. Some people will say it's boring, some people will say it's only worth watching for Renee, Renee Zellweg, sorry, Renee Zellweger's performance, but, uh, I personally disagree. I think this is a really good 
really good biopic on Judy Garland that I think all of you definitely need to watch. And I was so happy to find this for such a good price on Black Friday. So um, yeah, $6 for Judy, really good deal. Now, with planes, trains, and automobiles, um, I noticed this sells online for actually quite a pretty high price. Like, I would see it on sites like Amazon and eBay for like 10 or even like $20, especially if it has the slipcover, which I think for an older movie like this, it's kind of a ridiculous price. So when I saw this was $5.99 on Black Friday, I knew I had to order it from BestBuy.com. And uh, yeah, I really like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Such a funny movie. Probably one of my favorite comedies. This is definitely the definitive Thanksgiving movie. Like, there's not, there's obviously not a lot of Thanksgiving movies out there, but, like, in my opinion, this is the def definite Thanksgiving movie. Um, such a classic. Uh, Steve Martin and John Candy, who, rest in peace, uh, John Candy was so great in this movie. But, as I said before, Steve Martin and John Candy just have such great comedic chemistry with one another in this film. It's really funny to see them go back and forth, like basically annoy one another, especially John Candy with uh, Steve Martin. So um, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out this film, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I'm so happy that I paid six dollars for it. I no longer have to rent it every year on Thanksgiving. I can finally, I can just put on this Blu-ray every Thanksgiving from now on. So um, yeah. Very happy to have this movie in my collection. So, my last two Black Friday pickups, I actually, as I said before, uh, picked these up before. Those two that I just showed you, um, that I just showed you before. Um, as you all know, Best Buy was having a Black Friday sale on their 4K steelbooks for like 15 bucks a peach, which is a great deal. I, such a great deal. Like, especially since a lot of these 4k steelbooks were like 35 40 something dollars even like 50 something dollars so it was cool that best buy lowered them to 15 dollars so yeah when i found out that sale was going on i knew i had to take advantage of it and i basically uh grabbed my hands on two 4k steelbooks i've really been wanting and those are the 4k steelbooks of both 1917 and uh spider-man far from home i almost dropped this one it'd be a total shame if i did <laughs> but yeah really happy to have both these steelbooks um when i first saw a 1917 steelbook i knew i had to get it like i didn't know honestly if i ever end up buying it but when i saw it, it was only 15 bucks this month i knew i had to snag it along with this really cool 4k steelbook of spider-man far from home i just I just had to snag these because I knew there would be no other opportunity for me to get these at such a cheap price. Um, 1917, as a film, uh, wasn't one of my favorite films of 2019, but it's still a really, really good war film, directed beautifully by Sam Mendes, and uh, it's definitely a film I highly recommend you all check out. And of course, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, such a great, I guess you can say, epilogue to... Avengers Endgame. Uh, I personally think this is much better than Spider-Man Homecoming, which is probably the which I know is pretty divisive. Some people like Homecoming better, others like Far From Home better. I know it's more people like Homecoming better, but personally, I think Far From Home is the more superior out of the two Spider-Man films. But of course, to each their own. Film is subjective, so um, if you like Homecoming better than Far From Home, then I respect your opinion. But I really like Far From Home a lot. I really like how. This film takes place in Europe. Uh, I really like the comedy of this film. Uh, I, Tom Holland, of course, as always, gives a great performance as Spider-Man. He's easily one of the best, if not the best, Spider-Man we've ever had in a film. But yeah, I am so happy to have both these steelbooks. And I can't wait to watch them on Blu-ray because I actually don't have a 4K player. I honestly don't know if I ever get a 4K player because I'm, honestly I'm fine with Blu-ray. Like... I don't need to, uh, to get up on 4K, at least as of yet. I just don't feel what's necessary. But, um, yeah, really cool to have these steelbooks. And besides, they still have the Blu-rays in them. So if I want to watch them, I'll just pawn the Blu-rays. It's no big deal. So that was my Black Friday pickups. Uh, now I'm going to show you the one thing I picked up from Amazon this month. Uh, this was a movie that I saw for the first time this past summer that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I really like this movie. And I think with further rewatch, this could end up becoming one of my favorite movies of all time. And sadly, I think it's the only film from this director 
I have seen in full so far. Well, technically I saw, saw another film of his when I was younger, but it's been years. But um, That film is uh, Ed Wood. I absolutely love this movie. Um, if you guys really like the Disaster Hours, uh, this is the film to check out. Uh, I think this is much better than the Disaster Artist. Uh, if you guys don't know about Ed Wood, basically he was the Tommy Wiseau of the 50s. Like, basically known for making films that were so bad that they're good. And, uh, yeah, this basically chronicles his making of free films, including the infamous Plan 9 from Outer Space. But, yeah, I highly recommend you all watch this film. Johnny Depp gives such a good performance as the title character, and it was a shame he was snubbed for an Oscar nomination that year. But I was very happy to see that Martin Lando won for his role as Bella Lugosi, who was... Bella Lugosi was basically the dude that played Dracula in the classic Universal Monster films. And he later actually made some films with Ed Wood. I don't know if he made one or more films, but I know he made at least a film with Ed Wood. Um, but yeah, Martin Lando plays Bella Lugosi perfectly. Um, I know it's not accurate how Bella Lugosi was in real life, but I don't care. He gives such an Oscar-worthy performance as Bella Lugosi and easily one of the best film performances I have seen in my life. Watch Ed Wood if you haven't. I don't care. Rent on Amazon, pick up the Blu-ray, just watch this. So now I'm going to show you guys the stuff I got at my local video game store, which is in a city very close to my house. Uh, the place is called Book Off. I know it's like a Japanese chain of stores, and I know there's a few stores in the U.S., but I don't know exactly how many. But there's one in a city that is fairly close to my house that I go to every so often. Great store. Has such a huge Blu-ray selection. Uh, it's, I end up being in there for like up to an hour just deciding what to pick up. Their selection is so big, it's overwhelming. But anyways, I ended up picking up six things from that place. And uh, the first two Blu-rays I picked up are nothing that are like really, really stand out, but... Both of these are films I've wanted to pick up for the longest time, especially the latter film. And that is the Blu-ray of The Town and the Blu-ray of the first Iron Man. Now, The Town is a film I've heard really good things about. I'm really in interested in checking this out, especially since it's directed by Ben Affleck, who directed Argo. And I really enjoyed Argo, so I'm really excited to check out The Town and... Uh, the first Iron Man is one of my favorite MCU films. I've had it on DVD for the longest time. And I was finally happy to be able to finally upgrade to Blu-ray. So, yeah. Um, going back to the town, I actually only got this for $2, which was a steal. And Iron Man was like $6, $7. But I've seen it go for much higher in the past. So I consider that a good deal in my books. But, yeah. Very happy to have these films on Blu-ray. So the next film I picked out was a film I've been wanting to watch for a couple years, ever since it first came to theaters, but I never got the chance to see it in theaters. And uh, this Blu-ray I usually see go for very, very high prices online. And I finally found it at that bookstore I was mentioning for a relatively cheap price, and that was uh, Boy Erased. Um, I've heard really, really interesting things about this movie. Uh... The story synopsis of this film really intrigued me. Uh, so did uh, the things people were saying about this film. Uh, I know there's quite a few people who really like this film and also quite a few people who are not crazy about it. But uh, nonetheless, I'm really interested in checking this out and I'm very happy to have the Blu-ray of this. And I forgot to mention that this Blu-ray was 10 bucks, which I know is a bit much for a blind buy. But honestly, I see this film go for like crazy amounts online so I'm just happy that I found it for a relatively good price and hey if I don't like it then I could just like sell it off for like the same price I bought it and get my money back. So the next film I bought was actually a film I already had on Blu-ray but I only had the standard Blu-ray of it and uh, I was never intent on picking up another edition of this film but I found the steelbook of this film at that bookstore for only like six bucks and I thought the steelbook was really cool and I knew I had to pick it up. And that was the steelbook of the Blu-ray Steelbook of Interstellar, um, which I actually already have, as I said before, on regular Blu-ray. Um, but uh, yeah, such a good deal for this. Um, definitely not one of my favorite Christopher Nolan films. I know quite a few of my friends in the film commu community really, really love this film. Um, but for what it is, I think it's a really, really good film. 
for the technical aspects, this is this is a great film alone for the technical aspects. But I feel like the story was not the strongest, honestly. And I felt like the characters were not very emotionally investing. Maybe except for M Matthew McConaughey's character. But still a good film nonetheless that I see myself revisiting once every few years. But um, yeah, very happy to have the steelbook of this. Um, the disc and the steelbook were actually not in the best shape. It came with the Blu-ray, uh, the Blu-ray special features, and the DVD, just like my standard Blu-ray, so, which, in which the discs were in good condition, so I just, like, switched out the disc. I put the disc from my standard Blu-ray into here, and the disc from the Steelbook, which, again, were not in the greatest condition, into the regular Blu-ray. So I'll just, um, trade in the regular Blu-ray, and I'll just keep this one. So, yeah, very happy to have this. So the second to last film I picked up uh, was a film I have seen once in the past many years ago, but I don't remember much from it, and I remember not being interested in it because I had only just gotten into movies. Uh, so obviously, movies like this wouldn't have had a huge, wouldn't have sparked a huge interest in me. So, but I'm really interested in rewatching this film, especially since this director is having a new film coming out next year, and that is. The Blu-ray of Schindler's List. This is the 20th anniversary edition Blu-ray from 2013. Um, really excited to check this film out again. Um, people have praised this film like crazy. This is easily uh, Spielberg's uh, most... One of his most critically acclaimed films. And it was actually the one film of his that actually won the Oscar for Best Picture. So I am definitely looking forward to giving this another watch. And I'm also really looking forward to watching Steven Spielberg's uh, West Side Story remake that comes out next year. It was supposed to come out this year, but due to obvious reasons, it's not so. But that's okay. At least it gives me time to marathon Steven Spielberg's films. And hopefully before West Side Story comes out, I can make a ranking video of all Steven Spielberg's films and the last film I got from that book store or should I say films is actually a blu-ray trilogy set now I've been meaning to get this for the longest time I just haven't come across it for a great price I've come across it for pretty good prices online but I just never got around to buying it and even in stores like Best Buy and other major retailers it was just too expensive for me but I found this at my local bookstore for only $13, and that is the original Star Wars trilogy on Blu-ray. Now, I have this trilogy a few times over on VHS. Uh, I have uh, the 1995 uh, VHS set, basically the last release of the Star Wars films before the special editions. I have the gold uh, special edition trilogy set of the Star Wars films, as you can see behind me to your to your left and uh i even have the original vhs releases of uh the empire strikes back and uh return of the jedi so i definitely want to do a comparison video on all the star wars films i have on vhs dvd and blu-ray so um yeah but i'm finally happy to finally have all these films on blu-ray um i haven't watched all these films in their whole in quite a few years so I'm definitely looking forward to re-watching them. Empire Strikes Back is easily the best out of all these films but classic films nonetheless. Um, but yeah, finally happy to have this set. So next up, I'm going to show you all the stuff I picked up on eBay throughout the past month in which I got uh, one DVD which is the only DVD in this pickups video and five Blu-rays. So the one DVD I got is probably a film most of you or many of you haven't heard of, but it's a film I've been wanting to check out for the longest time. Uh, I'm very interested in this person's life and experiences. I even read uh, this person's diary, and that is the documentary film and Frank Remembered. Um, I remember really being interested in the Holocaust a few years ago and World War II as a whole, and uh, I've always wanted to watch this documentary because... It's basically an insight, I think, into the last months of, of Anne Frank's life, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, I bought this on eBay for like 9 10 bucks, which I figured was a pretty good deal. And uh, I know it's on Blu-ray, but I know the Blu-ray is like more expensive, and I really wanted to watch this. I didn't want to pay like 20 something dollars just to buy the Blu-ray, but um, yeah, Anne Frank remembered. Very happy to have this film, and they actually won... Uh, the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature of the Year was released in like 1995, 1996. So I'm um, yeah, really looking forward to watching this one. Honestly, I should probably get some water at this point because I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. 
But anyways, uh, the first out of the five Blu-rays I picked up uh, is a film that I watched for the first time earlier this year. I really, really liked it a lot. It's basically an inspiration of Spielberg films like E.T. And it was actually produced by Steven Spielberg himself, and it was directed by J.J. Abrams. And that is a uh, Super 8, uh, really fun, uh, really, really exciting movie. Um, if you like Stranger Things, or if you like any, like, 80s films, then I feel like all of you will really, really like this film. Uh, I really like this film a lot. Really, really, really thrilling watched. Uh, the ending is not the greatest, but other than that, it's still a really good film that I highly recommend you all watch. And... It's actually pretty cheap to buy on Blu-ray on places like eBay. Well, mainly eBay, but like I only paid like no more than like six or seven dollars for this. And the Blu-ray slipcover is actually in really good condition, apart from a few marks here or there. So um yeah, very happy with this release, and I can't wait to rewatch this as soon as possible. <sighs> you know, making these types of videos make you really thirsty. Sorry, where was I? But anyways, back to the video. So, the next Blu-ray I picked up on eBay was actually a 2020 film. Uh, this was one of my favorite films of the entire year so far. Um, and it's a film I highly recommend you all check out. Um, that is The Invisible Man. Um, I remember I was really, really not excited for this film when I, once I first heard of it. But then when the reviews came out... I really wanted to see it, and um, I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, but uh, in July I rented it for like six bucks, and really, really, really good movie, uh, and I can't wait to check out, uh, what's the director's name again, Lee Wanell, I'm probably totally butchering that, can't wait to check out his other film, uh, Upgrade, uh, I heard that was really good as well, but um, yeah, uh, I feel like this is a really good modern adaptation of a classic Universal monster that basically focuses on issues that sadly, very sadly, affect a lot of women to this day, which is domestic abuse. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend you all check out this movie whenever you get the chance. Anyways, uh, the last three films I got on eBay are actually all Pixar films. Um... Uh, if you guys uh, don't follow me on Letterbox, uh, earlier this year I did a thing where I watched all the Pixar films in chronological order, and a lot of them I haven't even either seen or I haven't seen since I was a kid. So, um, yeah. And Pixar definitely has a lot of great films. Uh, I'm definitely excited to buy many of them on Blu-ray. I'm not going to buy all of them on Blu-ray, be mainly because uh, I didn't love like all of them, like <coughs> Cars 2. And, uh, besides, even if I want to rewatch stuff like Cars 2, which I most likely never will, uh, I can always watch them on Disney+. Plus. Like, with Disney+, Plus, I only buy Disney films that I really love and I know I'll watch over and over again. But anyways, uh, the first out of the free Pixar films I picked up is, um, don't hate me for this, the first Cars. Now, before you leave your hate comments, let me explain. Cars is just... A special film for me. Uh, this was the first film I remember seeing in theaters as a little kid. I was only like five years old and I remember my mom taking me to see this back in 2006 and I have distinct memories of watching this in the theater. This was the earliest movie theater experience I remember. Like I know I watched some other films in the theater. Like I think I remember I did watch the Polar Express in the theater according to my parents. Sadly I remember nothing from that experience but um yeah. This was the film I remember watching in beers when I was five years old. Um, and on rewatch, I think this film still really holds up. I think, don't get me wrong, it's pretty, pretty odd that all the characters are cars. But what I really like about this film is the heart of this film, uh, the humor, the story. Like, I know it's a story that's been done to death, but I think the story in this film is done so well. And, um... If you guys haven't seen Cars and you guys are skeptical too based on the reviews, give it a watch on Disney+. Plus. You may not be disappointed. But yeah, I'm very happy to own this film on Blu-ray. But anyways, uh, the next Pixar film that I picked up was a film I only seen once many years ago, but I didn't remember much from it. I don't even think I finished it now that I think about it. But rewatching it this summer, 
it's now like my second favorite Pixar film, and that is the Blu-ray of Up. I absolutely adore, adore this film. There are some people that say that after the first 10 minutes, the film is not as good, and my message to those people, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Everything after the first 10 minutes is at least just as good as the first 10 minutes. Not that I'm bashing you if you don't like the first 10 minutes, I was just messing around, but, but seriously, guys. Up is just such a great movie with great characters, great drama, very funny at times, especially. Um, yeah, if you guys have not seen Up, then go, then stop watching this video right now, go to Disney Plus, and watch the movie. Like, it's that good. Easily one of the best anime films I have ever seen in my life. And the last Pixar film I picked up is actually directed by the same director who directed Up, Pete Docter, and that is Inside Out. Um, so far, Pete Docter is easily my favorite director at Pixar. He also directed Monsters, Inc., which is another one of my favorite Pixar films, along with Up and this movie. Um, and it makes me really, really excited to see Soul. Not just because of the reviews, but because Pete Docter is directing it. I am so excited for Soul. Like, I can guarantee you, Christmas night, I'm going to be watching that movie. Um, because what I've seen from Pete Docter so far in his previous three films have been incredible. Like, he can do no wrong. And it especially shows with this film. Very emotional. Uh, great story. Uh, and very, very creative as well. Um, and such a great message. As with many, many Pixar films. Like, if you haven't seen Inside Out yet for whatever reason. Like with Up. Stop this video right now. Go on Disney Plus and watch Inside Out. It, it, it's that good. It's that good. Like, you're missing out if you haven't seen this film. But anyways, enough of me raving about Pixar. Let's move on to the Criterions. Now, before the Criterion sale started last month, I told myself I only be getting one specific Criterion. But I ended up buying five. <laughs> Guys, you don't understand. I have a problem. I say I'm, I'm just going to buy one Criterion, and I end up buying five. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the criterions in order of spine number, as many other users tend to do. So um, yeah, let's begin. So the first one I'm going to show you is uh, spine number 248. And this is a criterion I've really been wanting to pick up for quite a while. Uh, when I read the synopsis of this movie before I bought I knew I had to pick it up. Because it just sounded so intriguing. And that is uh, David Cronenberg's... Videodrome. Uh, I am super excited to watch this film. I'm definitely going to try to watch this film as soon as possible because the, the synopsis of this film sounds so intriguing. I And the release of this is also really cool. It comes in this like, like the slip cover looks like uh, the, the, the sticker label of a VHS tape on the bottom. Like that, that's so cool. And the cover looks like a Betamax tape. So yeah. Very happy to have this Criterion. Can't wait to watch this movie. I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts on this movie whenever I watch it on my Letterbox. Which, if you haven't followed me on Letterbox, definitely follow me on Letterbox. I'll leave a link in the description below. That is the place where you'll get all my movie opinions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Videodrome, can't wait to watch it. Now, the next Criterion I bought is a Criterion I should have bought a long, long time ago. Some people say this is like one of the essential Criterions to have in your collection. And I've been wanting to buy this Criterion for the longest time. Because I've been wanting to see this movie for the longest time. And that is the Criterion of... The sun won't... The light won't block it. 12 Angry Men. That's better. Now, as I said before, 12 Angry Men is a film I've been wanting to watch for the longest time. I already knew the story of 12 Angry Men because when I was in my freshman year of high school, my English class, uh, we, read the, we read the play in my English class and we actually watched uh, clips from this movie. Uh, I remember not being very interested in it at the time, but now I really, really want to see this film because it sounds so intriguing. Uh, the plot of it sounds so intriguing. I already know how it ends, but I still really, really want to see this film. And I 
And I know a lot of people, including some of my YouTube friends, consider this film to be one of the greatest films ever made. And, uh, yeah. Based on that alone, I really, really want to check this film out as soon as possible, along with Videodrome. Interesting enough, the last three Criterions I bought are all Criterions that were released sometime this year. Um, now the next Criterion I'm going to show you is actually a Criterion I didn't buy off Barnes & Noble. Uh, I actually picked this off off eBay for like $19.50 total, including like taxes and shipping. And uh, this was a film I've been wanting to buy on Criterion ever since it came out. Because, not just because I really want to see a movie, but I really like this cover art. And that is the Criterion of Wildlife, which is spine number 1031. Uh, thinking of that, I also forgot to mention that uh, 12 Angry Men spine number is 591. So, apologies for that mistake. But uh, anyways, yeah, I've really been wanting to check out Wildlife. I've heard really good things about this film, and... I absolutely love this cover. And uh, when I saw this listing on eBay, um, it only had the, the case and it didn't show the inside with the booklet. So I contacted the seller saying like, hey, do you have the booklet? And he responded to me like right away. He's like, yeah, I have the booklet and it's untouched. And I, after that, I just immediately bought it. So yeah, uh, very happy with this. Now, as I said before in this video, uh, I went to the bookstore uh, in the ci in a city near my house uh, to pick up some Blu-rays, but near that bookstore, or should I say video game store, there was actually a Barnes & Noble and I wanted to check out their Criterion selection. I originally wasn't going to buy anything, but I was like, you know what, I'm here at Barnes & Noble, I should at least buy something. And uh, I ended up buying a film that has really, really piqued my interest ever since I first found out it was coming to Criterion. And that is, uh, sorry, uh, Come and See. But, uh, yeah, uh, when I first found out this was coming to Criterion, I read the synopsis of it and I knew I had to pick it up, uh, whenever there was a sale. And, uh, yeah, I finally got to have finally picked up this movie. Um, basically what this movie's about is that it takes place during World War II, and it takes place in German-occupied what is now known as Belarus. At the time, it was a part of the Soviet Union, and it basically focuses on a teenager who is the man on the cover. Teenagers experience living through the Nazi occupation of what is now Belarus in the Soviet Union. So, yeah, this film just sounded super intriguing, and I knew I had to pick this film up once I found out it was coming to Criterion. So, yeah, can't wait to check out this film. And the fifth and final Criterion I bought, I actually did not buy with my own money. This was the cr one Criterion I was going to buy during the Criterion sale. And uh, because it was my birth month, a friend asked, like, hey, what do you want me to get you for your birthday? And I was like, dude, you don't have to get me anything. But if you really insist, I really want uh, this specific movie on Criterion Blu-ray. And he got it for me. And that is Parasite on Criterion. Guys... I'm sure you've already heard enough praise about this film, but I'm sorry. Parasite is easily one of the best films of 2019. It's in my top three. Um, I absolutely love this film so much. I've seen it like three times. Um, yeah, if you still somehow have not seen Parasite, you're really missing out. Um, this is easily the best foreign language film I've ever seen. This film really got me, this film really made me more interested in seeing other foreign films. So, yeah, I absolutely love this movie. I'm so happy to finally have this on Criterion. Can't wait to check out the supplements. And, uh, yeah, definitely pick this up uh, whenever the next time there's a sale or anything like that because it's worth your money. So, that was everything I picked up in the month of November. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming very soon.